Hey everyone, welcome back to the place in the world where we are testing every single mask. Today, very excited to look at the Eggly, I think I'm saying that correctly, N95. They've got two of them. They've got a cup style and a foldable style. We're going to be looking at both of those today, but in this video, we're going to be looking at the fold, which is the first one. Very excited to take a look at this. It's got some special features. Actually, I just came back from the manufacturer um, and I, I manhandled the box a little bit, so you'll have to forgive me. But this is so cool. The packaging is, uh, it's the best packaging that I've seen uh, for any uh, mask, hands down. Uh, aside from maybe um, the Dr. Puri had individually KF94s, that was pretty dank to be honest, but check out the size of this box. Look at this, it's bigger than the screen. I mean, this is a Texas manufacturer and I guess everything is bigger in Texas. I mean, that's why they're making the box so dang big. Um, so I'm gonna open this up. This actually box has some cool features that I'll look at in a second, but I wanna get it in the clamp before we talk about that. Sealed in this cool bag, look at that, dang, that's a nice bag. And uh, it's a nice zipper sealer. It's like a premium underwear or something. Um, and then you got the, the masks right there, so you can uh, get at them. All right, let's put it in the clamp here. Now, this is a, a little bit different setup than our surgical masks. If you want to find out how we are doing this differently, I'm going to put a link right up there. This is also just a tiny bit different than how NIOSH does their test. Let it rip. Uh, I explained it in that video. Uh, we're doing math a little bit differently to make it super fast for me to do this. This is not how we actually test our mask. You have to use beeswax. Which is, I'll do a video on that someday, but I still like getting sticky. All right, we're gonna let that run. Let's talk about Eggly. So these guys are pretty new. I just visited their factory yesterday, and I will tell you what, that factory was awesome. Uh, it's, uh, we're uh, right outside of Austin, Texas, and um, uh, they are just down the road in Houston, and it is a brand new factory. So you can check them out on their website, uh, eglyco.com. Really beautiful website. Like these guys really get brand well. Uh, like my background uh, is, is actually in software before starting uh, a mass factory, and, and they have the same thing. They, uh, they, they were building software companies before then. So you can really see how they design the product and care about things. Let's talk about this box. Um, this box is really cool and it has this really cool feature, which I don't know if I can demonstrate, but I'm going to try. So on the top of the, of every box, you can see it's got this little sticker on there. That's actually an NFC near field communication reader. And they're using that to actually do real verification of the information on this thing. So you're supposed to be able to just Tap it on the top. You see, I, there must be something, um, I, I think I've scanned it too many times. I think that's part of the, yeah, that's my daughter. So it opens up their website and it shows you the lot information. What that means, it's the date that the uh, mask was manufactured, it's the time that it was manufactured, um, and all of the testing data, which they've done like 20 tests uh, from that lot. So that's really cool. Um, that's a great way for you to know that you're dealing with a, an actual uh, US made company and that uh, it's actually been verified so you can actually trust that information. No one else has this technology. We have actually built the back end for it. I call it the birth certificate for a mask um, so that you can scan a code on the back of our box and see exactly uh, what the test was for that day. We haven't rolled it out though uh, yet um, because it's rolling out at operation is very difficult, but um, they have went ahead and done that. So very impressed because I know how much work is on the back end. We're just collecting the data at the moment and we should roll it out in the next few months. Um, let's again, talk about the box just before we get into uh, the actual test. Uh, this is my favorite box I think that I've come across. I just really like the design. It looks like maybe like the Swedish flag or something. And so maybe that says something about my Viking heritage. We'll never know. Um, but I just, it just looks, looks awesome. So you get 50 in a box that's huge. It's a giant box, you open it up. Um, this is their folding respirator. And you see on here, I've never seen another manufacturer do this. 
I actually uh, saw this live. This is laser inscribed. They're using a $50,000 laser to inscribe this, all this information right on there, which is really neat. They've got a great nose wire, good construction. Never actually tested their, uh, their head straps. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Now, remember, with N95, you've got to have head, heads. It's not like uh, the ear loops of the face mask. These actually have to like stay on your face, so that's pretty good. I can tell, though, by pulling, that if I pull a little bit harder, it's going to break. So that's, that's it's never going to break on your head. But, you know, some of these, uh, you know, some of the other manu American manufacturers I tested, I don't know what they're doing. Um, one of them, I think I put a 35-pound dumbbell inside one of these and still didn't break. So, you know, is that necessary? No, not really. But um, I don't, this is not going to break on your face. Let me try this on real quick. Grab the fit. I know it's not how I'm supposed to put it on. Don't at me. Getting a polypropylene smell here, which is the plastic that's made. This is a little bit smaller than I'm actually used to, but I have a big head. So uh, if you have a smaller face, um, when, comparison, uh, when, com when uh, comparing it to um, the Indiana face mask, I think that one's just a little bit bigger. Um, but it's a great, I'm getting a great seal. I'm not getting anything above it. I mean, obviously, that's part of an N95, because you got to have a great seal. And it's very soft on the inside. I think they're using a different type of uh, spun bond there, because that is just really, really supple. The outside's actually a little bit rough. But if you're going to spend money, extra money on like soft spun bond, do it on the inside, because that's the thing that touches your face. It's a really great product. Obviously, a premium product, um, but it seems really good. Seems is the operative word, though, because does any of that stuff matter? <laughs> does their track and trace thing matter? If the thing doesn't test well, I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know what it's going to say. So let's check this out. We'll do it together. Here we go. Three, two. Wow. Great job, guys. That's what I would expect from an American manufacturer, but you never know, right? Um, never know till you get it in the clamper. The clamper doesn't lie. Uh, 99.64. I was glancing at the airflow resistance a minute ago, and I'll just actually look at our report to get the average. The breathability is actually really good. It's 146 pascals, 146.98. That's a great breathability number. Now, some of the other masks that we've tested uh, have had a more breathable fabric, uh, but this is extremely breathable. Um, it's, it's, it is on par with the breathability of a surgical mask. And I felt that when I was breathing it in. Um, guys at Egley, great job. Love your mask, love your box. It's not a soft touch, but the box is so good, I didn't even notice. I didn't even, well, I, I noticed, obviously. But um, you know, perhaps the next rendition, you can upgrade your, uh, your soft touch there. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If this was helpful, uh, I, I appreciate you guys uh, checking out my address below. That's right, I'm giving you my physical address. Why? It's crazy. Uh, because I'd like you to send me some masks. Uh, I ran out of all of the masks you guys sent me, and I need some more masks to test. I want to test every single mask in the world, and I need your help to do it. So send me your masks. And also, if you're not doing anything else, give me a like or subscribe or don't. I don't check those things. I do. It's really, it's sad. It's desperate. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll check you out on the next test. Thank you.